This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, Arizona, and coming soon, Louisiana. For boosted parlays, the in game odds on every major sport, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet $10 and get $200 in free bets. Download the WinBet app now or visit WINNBET.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Stable Duel. Stable Duel is a horse racing DFS app where you can play a uh, free and paid games for real cash prizes. You can win as much as fifteen thousand dollars with one entry. Head over to StableDuel.com to get started today. We're also brought to you by Better Fantasy. Better Fantasy is a free to play app that lets you bet on all your favorite NFL player props for a chance to win awesome prizes. Download the app today over at betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. That's betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGPN your first deposit to receive up to $500 in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. We're also brought to you by Thrive Fantasy. Thrive Fantasy has a hundred thousand dollar guaranteed contest for the big game. Plus a hundred percent instant t- deposit match at thrivefantasy.com promo code S G P. And of course, don't forget to download the S G P and app your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. This is my team Cleese and you're listening to S G P N let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. What's up, Sean? Oh, it was really nice to see Coach come to the stadium in a <laughs> pimped out Ford F-150. Same color blue. I'm guessing that was for the Bills. Maybe it's new for the Giants. But goddamn, does that look like a football coach? I guess we're here to talk about basketball. Yes, we are. We're Brian here to Dable, talk college hoops. Not sitting next to me. Uh, Col- joining us in studio, as always, Colby Dan, aka the Dan Tavares. Colby, all of a sudden, uh, Kramer's a Giants fan. Yeah, I don't know no. what happened. What's He's going completely on there? out on them. They hire one OC. Next thing you know, ha- over under on how many years uh, Brian Dable makes it. I'm saying the oh. two years sounds like a very reasonable Giants oh. tenure. How long was Romeo Cornell with the with the oh. with the Cleveland oh. uh, with the Cleveland Browns, Sean? <laughs> I, I'm just. I want to know because maybe I feel like it's 2.0 a little bit. Oh, oh, this guy. I don't. We'll we'll get into it more next Look, time. Why a Tittle's not walking through that that door? Right. You guys still got Daniel Jones. Yes. All right. You got to go out there. You got to find some talent. <laughs> all right. Maybe you listen to me with some of these FCS players. You always give me a hard time about <laughs> Cooper Cup is killing it over there. Yes. All right. FCS <laughs> a legend Cooper Cup, Eastern Washington. What are they? The Red Hawks. Uh, yeah, they play like on the red, the red wave. <laughs> yeah, Eagles, I think. But yeah, the Red Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, Cooper Cup, awesome game. He's been dominating. Uh, been killing those player props. All right, uh, we are here to talk college hoops. And of course, if you're betting on college hoops or the NFL, aka the big game, you got to do it over at Win Bet. W Y N N B E T dot com. Bet big, win bigger. Louisiana coming soon. You can pre-register right now. Bet ten dollars, get two hundred fifty dollars in free bets in Louisiana, and they have a ton of uh, great ways to build your own bets for the big game over at WinBet.com. W Y N N B E T dot C O M or the Win Betting app today. Let's go. All right, we're going to uh, struggled getting to that high. I, note I don't know sure. if you guys know this, and I know it's it's not uh, on on topic here with with college basketball. But Brian Kelly had another video drop this past oh, week, oh, guys, yeah. with God the recruit. We mm. have the USFL gambling podcast coming. Can you guys do a video like that for me? <laughs> where I'm sitting here and, and Sean's going, yeah, <laughs> just dropping these. <laughs> Imagine being in that room with the flashing lights. <laughs> Imagine ho- being I, the, the director on this. I hope right? that's post production because <laughs> Jesus Christ, an old man like. I mean, look, shout out to LSU. Yeah. Because the guy who said, you know what we need? 
when our recruits come on campus, we need to do a very awkward dance video with uh, with with this old white man. Whoever said, you know what, this will work. Genius. Genius. Oh, he, the last one he did the pistol. That he was went great. like this. Like, yeah, I, was yeah. he smearing something oh, on his eyes? So get the gat. Get the gat. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Coach Kelly. I'm but, 65. But even even <laughs> even the dumbest gangster knows you don't wipe your eye with the tip of a gun. <laughs> like, not a smart place to put that thing. Anyway. All right. Let's let's go. Oh well. Uh, Sean, not interested in the LSU gun story. No, I am. It's pretty interesting. All right, we got <laughs> recapping our week uh, last week. Nothing, uh, nothing amazing. I hit my lock. Uh, Colby hit his lock, and first dog got on the dog. board there. Kramer's uh, hit his hit his dog and his bonus lock. Kramer's lock uh, record seventy percent. Bonus lock fifty five percent. My lock forty five percent. Bonus lock fifty percent. Colby lock sixty percent. Bonus lock thirty six percent. But dogs on the board, Colby with some dogs. Let's go. There were a co- numerous bad beats in this uh, in this last week's slate. In particular, Texas that we picked at minus two, only winning by one is is an insanely bad beat. Uh, also, I want to add Xavier Creighton to that. We were up, I think, seventeen and a half. Creighton's got an unbelievable home record over the past three or four years. Did you say we're? Oh, I thought you said we're up seventeen and a half. No, so we're up seventeen, <laughs> 17 and a half. half. Yeah, and and you're thinking like, there's no way, there's no way we're getting points, so we're actually up eighteen it's and easy a half. Money. Uh, How no, unlucky! Cole. Yeah, that's a. I mean, Xavier went on a like a thirty-four to two run or some shit. It was because yeah. I taunted them. I said wrong team favored too many times. I apologized on Twitter, uh, but Jesus, bad beat. Yeah, brutal. But hey, we got the look. The Michigan State play the can uh, the Kentucky, the Kentucky play. money line. Yeah. I mean, come on, that Dude, was they whooped their ass. Fuck. They uh, whooped their ass. You know the the Gus bus. I, I told you that was good, or the must bus. What did I say? The Gus bus. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I felt good about, it. And, and you know, the bankroll feels good too. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not just smashing Villanova first halves at this point every yeah, game. Yeah, I mean, I like. Can we up, just start writing? I told you that they were going to come back uh, and get. Yeah, I liked up Villanova minus thirteen and a half. Looked good for most of the game, and then of course, St. John squeaks through the back door, winning uh, or losing by eleven. The, the problem that's a problem is that these these kids in legal gambling states, they're too savvy. They know the line. They, they know what's happening. <laughs> they want to provide a high variance product with lots of live inventory for the consumer, AKA the better to consume. So <laughs> I like that's it. the, that's the business. Sorry, and, and look, sorry if it's too and, and complicated I'll be honest, guys. Look, I know yesterday was great with the NFL games, but at the same time, there oh, were no, some here. awesome college basketball games yesterday. Purdue, Ohio State, the great, uh, great. Uh, uh, Providence, Marquette, okay. all coming down to the wire. They, and they did; they were smart. They put it before the NFL game, so if you were real hip, you got all of it at once. That's, I mean, that's all we're asking for, right? Do, why are we trying to compete with one another? Yeah, just, just, just load it up. Plenty, plenty and, game and, on action. And to once go again, around. can we college football? What the fuck are you doing? The entire world is talking about pro football and how great the People, playoff is. <laughs> uh, Sean can vouch for this. Yeah. I'm having a youth soccer conversation this morning that immediately transitioned to how about those games this weekend? Like, yeah. wow. It's amazing what can happen. You see it in March Madness, too. It's like, oh, what a great tournament. But, but Colby, <laughs> the Bengals would have made it if it was only four teams, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. It's like, guys, what are we doing? The, the, the Giants, when, when Eli won a, won a, won a chip, right? I appreciate you. you bringing that yeah. up. Yeah, they, they, were, they went on a run. Sometimes teams get hot. Sometimes, with sometimes, the Steelers. <laughs> sometimes things that take time and energy and group effort and, and, and bonding. Sometimes they get better with age, like fine wine. And sometimes the best product is that team that goes on that run. We didn't get to see Utah. What 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 would a Utah look like against one of these SEC teams? I don't know. We're now we're on football. They won the Sims. All right, let's talk college <laughs> hoops. Did. Creighton heads to uh, New Haven, Connecticut, UConn. Laying nine. Oh man, I don't know what to make of this Creighton team. Eight and four against the spread in their last twelve games against a Big East opponent. Uh, UConn's coming in hot, won five straight. Obviously, Creighton completely unraveled at home. Now you go on the road at UConn. UConn has a couple of free throw shooters: RJ Cole, Tyler Poley, uh, both shooting eighty nine percent. Maybe we can get one of those guys over on Lehigh, help them out. Uh, Creighton, you know, a lot of a lot of consistent scoring. Four guys, double digits. 
I don't know. I, normally, I would like to take Creighton here catching nine points, but I'm worried this could be a massive letdown spot after they pissed away that lead. Now you got to go on the road facing a red hot UConn team. Colby, what's the play? You know, I I kind of came in there like you thinking, okay, well, I got to take the nine in Creighton. But the more I think about it, you, they the the last time they hit the road, Butler beat them by 17. Um, prior to that, I think they're uh, just going to fall apart here. Yeah. The Nova Nova beat them by 24 in, in, uh, in uh, Philadelphia there. So they did win at Marquette on new on January 1st. But uh, I think, I think you're right. I think give me UConn minus the nine. I, I just can't trust Creighton. They're still, they're such a young team. They're a very young team. They're, they're ahead of schedule, but the road kills youth. So yeah, I just, uh, you know, Tying it back to Michael Crichton, you got you got Newman maybe driving on the roads of uh, Connecticut there in the mail <laughs> truck with the with the dinosaur semen. Uh, doom, you, doom, <laughs> doom. <laughs> I, I think. Uh, and what's that big pile of shit uh, in Jurassic Park? Is that is that New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I mean, you're not only, Shots a, you're not only offending me, but you're offending all the great Jersey legends uh, from over the years. Look, you, you nailed the, the biggest point. I think this team is just trash on the road. I, I don't like laying this many points. I would have made this number probably closer to, to eight. Yeah. So well, uh, th- I think they need, they're going to need Creighton action. So that's why they're making a nine, right? I mean, who the fuck I'll take UConn. I, I wanted to be triple different. lock salute on that, UConn. That's not been a good Good thing. Davidson heads up to St. Bonaventure in New York. Uh, the Bonnies laying three at home. Oh, Bonnies, what has happened to the season? Coming in, supposedly uh, going to dominate the A10. They are seven and three straight up and against the spread. A uh, last, or no, sorry, Davidson is seven and three straight up and against the spread. Last 10 meetings against the Bonnies. Bonnies have just been cold. Two and 10 against the spread in their last 12 games. Although, They've been getting wins at home, uh, five and zero straight up last five. I don't know. I mean, St. Bonnie's uh, sophomore guard Linton Brown questionable with COVID. I don't know. What I mean, th- it's tough. Like this number has have the books caught up to the fact that St. Bonaventure isn't as good as we thought early in the season, preseason. I feel like this number is probably right. And I'm going to lean St. Bonaventure, but the fact that Davidson has had success against them makes me lean Davidson. Davidson shooting 41% from three. Uh, you know what? I uh, got to my head. I'm going to take the points, Davidson plus three. Colby? Yes. Uh, look, the Bonnies have been a mess. Sure, you know, four of those six games were on the road, and, and they had that nice home win against VCU. But look, Davidson has Bob McKillop. And to, to the to the non uh, huge college basketball fan, if you don't know Bob McKillop, He's been coaching at Davidson mm. since 1978. Oh. All right. And this guy is a winner. He is a proven winner. He took foster lawyer, yeah. uh, a transfer from Michigan state who we thought when he was with, with the Spartans that, Hey, this guy's not very good. And he's, he's perfectly found the spot for him in the offense uh, with Davidson. I think Davidson is the flat out better team. Give me the wildcats on the road. Well, I mean, Colby, isn't this one of those numbers that stinks a little bit? It does. Why is it Davidson does. not favored? I'm only thing I Pick can say is minus is one. The Bonnie's last time the the, the VCU win at home by we, twenty. We, that was impressive. By last the two podcasts yeah. were two and ten. When we all agree, last two home games. <laughs> I'm just going to throw say Bonaventure. They've won. Okay. I mean, that's what that's the. Uh, so you're going St. Bonds, the Bonnie's right. Well, it stinks. And I'm telling you, like it, just, I, I would have made this a pick them. I would have probably talked to Colby and said, Hey, well, should we favor St. Bonaventure a little bit for home? And maybe we, we come probably would have, we probably put it at one, but yeah. three feels like too much. So because it stinks and because we're two and 10, when we all agree, give me St. Bonaventure. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start letting you guys go first so I can fade you <laughs> South Carolina <laughs> That's had, the problem. <laughs> heads to Starkville, Mississippi, Mississippi state. Laying eight at home, Gamecocks coming off a, a nice win against Texas A and M, which yeah, and could be massive a uh, letdown spot. They only shoot sixty three percent from the free throw line, although they play decent defense, holding the opponent to thirty nine and a half uh, percent. Mississippi State kind of coming around, won six straight games at home. Uh, yeah, I'm Bulldogs led by junior guard Iverson Molinar, who putting up 18 points per game and four assists and three and a half rebounds. 
Ah, South Carolina does have a deep team. This is an SEC game. Colby, what are you doing? Look, uh, Mississippi State's lost uh, what three of four, and their one win was uh, at home in the Egg Bowl on the hardwood against Ole Miss. Um, man, I, South Carolina—that was shocking to me what they did to Texas A&M on Saturday. But I, I still think Mississippi State bounces back. I think they're the better team. Give me, give me the Bulldogs minus the points. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, I mean it, it's one. one of, I mean South Carolina doesn't take care of the ball, and so. You know how does Mississippi State get over a, a bigger number? They turn them over. They uh, look at Sean smiling over there. South Carolina plus eight. Let's go, Gamecocks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was gonna that say that was Sean. not a, a mirage against Texas A&M. Maybe they bring a little momentum, and uh, and I like SEC two teams. You're getting eight points. Let's go. Let's go, Hell State. Hell State. Texas A&M. They head to Tennessee, who broke our hearts covering and by losing to Texas. Huge number. Uh Tennessee laying a massive number against the Aggies, 12 and a half. Whew. Uh, Tennessee relies on defense. Um, but uh AM, pretty good defense as well. Tennessee four and one against the spread in the last five games against A and M. Ten and fifteen or ten and five against the spread in their last fifteen games, obviously including that heartbreaker against Texas. Uh, Texas A and M has lost four straight, including to uh, aforementioned South Carolina senior guard Quentin Jackson for uh, Aggies. He's been playing pretty well, thirteen points per game. I I want to take the uh, I want to take the Aggies yeah. here in a bounce Ma- back massive, spot. Massive this is yeah. massive letdown. This is spot locked too potential for I think. Tennessee. Well, Tennessee's yes. undefeated at home though, and you and should know that. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, they, they're going to win the game. But Buzz yeah. is a master of motivation. Yeah. And I think in a game where you're getting, you know, more than double digits on a point spread, that's an easy way to motivate some grown ass men who are being paid to play college basketball. I agree. And I actually, I think this is lock potential because I, I just don't see it being that big of a blow. Rick Barnes in a get up spot after a heartbreaking loss. No, thank you. Michigan state. Shit, We all agree. To <laughs> Michigan state lay in three and a half as they head to Maryland square off against the Terps. Who, oh, um, Maryland's struggled just shooting overall. Adonta Scott was expected to have a big year for Maryland. He's been struggling. Um, you know, past decade, I guess Xfinity Center had been one of the toughest places to play in college basketball. Uh, Maryland, though, hasn't really helped them ATS. Two and eight ATS in their last ten games at home. They just got their ass beat at home. They did. They <laughs> did. And look, I, I, they, they're hard to get a pulse on because they look good one day. Maryland is doing yeah. a special event, calling it Terp Vegas. And uh, it's gonna have a blackout. They tried to white out. Uh, it didn't work uh, as well. Michigan State <laughs> five and zero against the spread. Last five games on the road. What I'm worried about is the letdown is, spot. Right? Yeah, I mean, anytime Michigan State beats Michigan, and then they have to go on the road against a team they're better than, doesn't this seem like a perfect get up spot? I mean, they handled Michigan, Colby. I think you had Michigan State as your lock. Yeah, uh, we think we were all at Michigan yeah. State. And now one they, of the one of the rare wins. Yeah, and now it's a Tuesday game, middle of the week, on the road at Maryland, where Maryland is bringing out the big guns, Terp Vegas, blackout. Oh, Terp I'm, Vegas, it's horrible. It doesn't roll off the <laughs> tongue. I'll be horrible. honest. <laughs> words, of, words, of, words of Turtle wisdom. Vegas sounds P better. P and V <laughs> are tough letters to put next to each other. Turtle <laughs> Vegas, baby. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think Michigan State, you know, like taking a, you know, start. We can start looking at the the seedings in the in the big in the big tourney. And so, where I look at a, a Michigan State, and they're they're hovering there at a four three. So like they they can they need to keep winning. And I think oh, they need to keep winning for the big that like that they yeah, they can still win the Big Ten. I know. I, I guess from the letdown spot angle, we're talking about Thomas. Though we're talking about. I mean, he understands what needs to be done here. And we're not talking about a game with a massive spread. We're talking about three and a half. And so, yeah, you can get cute and talk yourself into this Maryland team, but I think at the end of the day, this defense will travel. And even if their offense does struggle uh, on the road here, I, I think their defense will do enough to, to take care of business here. And uh, one, one concern, um, you know, if they, if they don't take care of the ball, like they have at times that that might be trouble, but, but Maryland is one of the worst teams in the country at turning the opponent over. So 
and they're one of the worst at just passing the ball. They're a selfish <laughs> team. I'm serious. I'm serious. That's like, a good, they're 278th <laughs> in the country in an assist. Uh, it's just a Tom is a Me- team. Meanwhile, against. Michigan state's 18th. You see the difference right there in, in a crisp offense. Uh, Michigan I don't State's fancy the play. Maryland. I don't fancy Maryland at all. Well, let's take Sparty. Let's take Sparty all day here. It's the Tom Izzo against Danny Manning. Are I'm, you fucking I'm, kidding me? I'm uh, I'm sticking with Maryland. Perfect it, letdown spot for them. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a this is a this I'm is a, zagging. I need some zags. Sean, this is a Tom Izzo team that we're going to be betting on. I know this mm-hmm. is not the, the tournament, tournament. against the non-tournament team is the way I'm going to finish that statement. It's not the tournament. Okay. Kansas laying three as they head to Ames, Iowa. Oh, square off against Iowa State. Kansas obviously we've been putting up a ton of points this year, eighty and a half points per game. I would say playing pretty solid defense, only av- uh, only allowing sixteen and a half points per game. I would say holding opponents to twenty seven percent from behind three. Kansas has not been good against the spread. One and six. Nope. Against the spread, their last seven. Although they've been good historically against Iowa State, four and one last five against Iowa State. Uh, I would say senior guard Isaiah Brockington is averaging 16.8 points per game. <coughs> and Penn State point, transfer, just like you. Yeah, exactly. Right. He went to pursue his dreams at Iowa State. Yeah. 7.8 mm-hmm. rebounds per game. Uh, you know, this, and then obviously Kansas, their guard, uh, Agbaji, he's pretty good. 20 points per game. I don't know. Home dog? What's what's not to like about Iowa State, Colby? What are you doing here? Well, Iowa State just laid it on Missouri. I was surprised by by how well they played. Uh, no, Kansas off of a, a a loss where they got their ass kicked. Yeah, you're right. It's I a it's a better over bounce back the Jayhawks spot. here. I think this is lock potential too. Give me the Jayhawks minus three as they get it done. You got uh, situationally, I agree with you, but pure numbers play. Wrong team favorite. Wow. Give me the home team, lock it down on defense, turn them over, create easy mm. buckets for their offense. Kansas is chasing them all night. Give me Iowa State and Ames. Come on. Mm. Such a coward, Colby. I thought you were going to be all over this. You it's know what? So easy to say Bill Self was beating these pussies and going to get him to step Look, up. But this, this is that is, weird road and, trip. And this is Farmageddon. This is Farmageddon here, the battle of the two farm schools. Uh, so uh, I like, like that name. Yeah, Farmageddon, man. Decapitated Blue. Was, that a, was yeah. that a Michael Crichton book? It's all it's again. coming out. <laughs> it's the prequel to the Jurassic Park. Give me, I, you know what? I'm sick. I, I like Colby's uh, the bounce back angle, but I'm gonna stick with my Iowa State lane. Hashtag Dejans only. We we like the Cyclones. Big oh, fan man. of hurricanes. Or, I mean, sorry, tornadoes. <laughs> Apologies to Iowa State fans. I didn't mean to be say that offensive comment. Comparing them to the uh, what are you doing, Ryan? Turnover chains, not in Iowa. All right, stable duel. Oh man, you know, NFL season coming down, uh, slowing down. College basketball, well, you know, some some nights not a great slate. Stable duel. That's where stable duel comes in. Horse racing DFS. Are you kidding me? Stable duel is uh, it's ton. It's really fun to play. They had a uh, big contest going, giving away forty thousand dollars over the past weekend. You can win as much as fifteen thousand dollars just with one entry. They hook you up with strategy analysis, and they have free to play versions as well as paid. So, if you want to get your feet wet or your hooves wet uh, with a free game, feel free to head over to StableDuel.com. Download the app today. Play, race, win. We're also brought to you by Thrive. Fantasy. Oh man. If you love doing over under for player props, you got to go to Thrive Fantasy. Uh, they have a $100,000 guaranteed contest for the big game. Only $25 to enter, and first place takes home 20 k Use that promo code SGP over at ThriveFantasy.com. Receive an instant deposit match up to $100. Uh, they also have, yeah, they have some free 100K contest entries as well. You can get the uh, Thrive Fantasy app in the App Store or Google Play Store, or just go to thrivefantasy.com. Promo code SGP. It's uh, DFS, baby, for four player props. Sign up and prop up today. Thrivefantasy.com. Promo code SGP. All right. Now we're moving on. We got a Rutgers Northwestern matchup. This is what I'm talking about. Northwestern laying five and a half 
in Evanston, Illinois against the Scarlet Knights. Uh, Rutgers and, uh, kind of turning around seven to three last 10 Northwestern has not been good against the spread three and seven against the spread in their last 10 Rutgers five and one straight up last six against Northwestern uh, Northwestern oh and five straight up and against the spread their last five games at home. I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out why is Northwestern favorite here Kramer? Uh, because Colby shit all over the state of New Jersey earlier in this podcast. Oh, oh no! But Northwestern's been a team that I, you, you almost feel sorry for their fan base because it's been this. What's their coach's name? Chris Collins, former former guard at Duke. His dad was Doug Collins, former Sixers coach. Um, we like Doug Collins. And, and look, I, like this team, it's been the same story for like two or three years. They are good, but they lo- like they can play anyone tough in the country. Look, l- listen to this. Of their losses, Providence by five, Wake Forest by four, uh, Michigan State by six. They beat Michigan State in Lansing uh, on the second go around. Penn State by four, um, so Wisconsin by six, Michigan by two. They just lose these close games. Yeah. I mean, the Illinois game by three this past Saturday. They were in control and should have won that game. They just can't find a way to win. Uh, I think for that reason alone, you got got to take Rutgers. The scary thing with taking Rutgers is they've been terrible on the road. Yeah. So well, they just won again. I mean, that was against Nebraska though, and they got it's very a, fortunate to win that. Yeah, they they still win. Nebraska missed yeah, free throws to send that to overtime. They beat Maryland on the road. I'm going Rutgers here at Northwestern. I just don't think we'll be able to close them out at five and a half. Um, yeah, Rutgers plus five and a half. Kramer. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, I think New Jersey. Uh, is really insulted by Colby's comments. Uh, I think the size of this Rutgers team is going to be a problem for those fucking nerds at Northwestern Ron Harper Jr. who couldn't get into Syracuse, a proper communication school. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to take the five and a half. Like Sean said, this Rutgers team has been uh, quietly not horrible. And uh, yeah, I, I to your point, to your earlier question, Sean, I, th- this would have been one I would have set the line at like three. So. Rutgers Seems made way the NCAA tournament last year. Won a game yeah. in the first round. Should have won. Should have beat Houston in the second round. Uh, Collapse late, but uh, they do have the program going in the right direction. UNC is laying. Uh, they're laying four as they head to Louisville, Kentucky, to square off against Louisville. Louisville, a home dog. UNC putting up points, seventy-eight uh, points per game. Louisville only sixty-eight. Uh, UNC rebounds the ball really well, but Louisville is uh, not that good against the spread. Our, well, UNC isn't that good against the spread on the road. Four and thirteen against the spread in the last seventeen games. Trash city on the road. I love fading this UNC team. Uh, Louisville seven and zero oh straight up in the last seven games played on a Tuesday. <laughs> well, I love that nugget. I don't know what that <laughs> what what that means. Taco Tuesday. Do we need deeper analysis? Yes. Let's let's yeah. They got a couple of bronze on their team. Can we get a breaking news sound effect? Sure. Rick, did did uh, have they hired a coach yet, Louisville? No, it's their interim. So uh, yeah. Rick Patino. That's what I'm back? saying. Is Rick Patino coming back to Louisville. I'm saying that waitress still Woo. working at that restaurant. Uh, Rick Patino <laughs> might be coming back to Louisville, guys. This is gonna be great. Uh, other nugget. You have to know when to come. Real. <laughs> thank you for. <laughs> you have to know when to. Well, come. I think we have a new sound drop. Uh, <laughs> Sean, and while while you were uh, doing the reads, we also learned that the uh, one of the Gamecocks uh, guards is going to be potentially out uh, as he just became a father. So just quick. I don't know if you want to change your pick there, but you have to yeah. know when to come. <laughs> no. Come on, the guy is high T. Uh, as far as this game, uh, come on, guys. I've given you the formula to betting in the ACC. You take the dog yeah. on the money line. I'm going to disagree with you. I think Louisville's uh, program You're taking UNC look, on the road, and they're terrible on the road. As look, a road favorite, they lost, they lost by 22 at Wake. Kramer, I'm trying to talk sense of this. They thing. lost by 28 at at Miami. They <laughs> lost at Notre Dame, but it's like he doesn't hey, watch college basketball. Louisville's trash. They're trash. Mm-hmm. This team lost to Furman at home. Give me, give me North Carolina to figure it out. Win by five. <laughs> you sound like the guys in the Fox <laughs> pregame. I'm going to take the team to win by one more point than their spread. <laughs> Ole Miss heads to Baton Rouge. Uh, Baton Rouge. <laughs> Is this Brian Kelly over here? Hey, you gonna hang out with your family? How, how do they have down a bat, Rui? Gotta go, crawl, daddy. 
<laughs> you know. My family. Family. Some jambalaya. Yeah, y'all. A little chicken on steak. <laughs> ain't, ain't no thing. Uh, LSU. My close personal friend, Coach O. Hold that tiger. We tigers. Rui. He said Baton Rui. <laughs> go, go, tiger. Baton Rui. You get one of them bandages. I'm gonna go with a little chicken on a stick. Get that oh sweet, God. sweet uh, wind bat Louisiana Isn't deposit bonus. Literally, literally doing a water Frog blanket. legs are fantastic. Like, <laughs> the head football coach of, Lu- of LSU was doing a water boy impression. I'm disappointed the USFL did not try to hire Ed Orgeron. Really yeah, disappointed. Come on. Yeah. Well, well he's, he's knee deep in something. <laughs> well, the Giants XFL, do. XFL, have- you're up. You're Gi- up. <laughs> Giants have an offensive line coach position open. Oh, oh. please get him. Uh, you know how I was saying uh, the Bengals need a boombox guy. Why not Ed? Oh, just have him come out uh, with a tiger official? on a leash. Yes, <laughs> Bengal tiger. And by tiger, me? I mean naked I like ladies it. painted as Bengal tigers. Yeah, oh. just get him to say "Go Tigers" all day. Go just Tigers. <laughs> every <laughs> first down. Go Tigers. They light the torch some places. <laughs> they just get a coach O on the. Go Tigers! <laughs> ah. Oh man, come on! So XFL, step up and hire Ed, Ed, Eddie O. I should say. Um, Wait, so we, we still think there's going to be two spring leagues? Yeah, man. We'll, we'll football year that. round, man. It's happening. LSU is favored by 14 points against Old Miss. Uh, LSU, very good rebounding team, top 10 defense in the country. Nine and one last ten against Old Miss. Uh, although LSU one and four straight up and one and four against the spread in their last five games. I don't know. It, this is interesting because normally I could maybe see this as a I don't know. They're probably not looking ahead to Vanderbilt. No. Uh, it, it does seem like a, a big number for this LSU team, but maybe this is the ultimate get right game for them. Kramer, what are you doing? I mean, this is one of those games you, you don't you don't see preview uh, previews like this over at the, on the Ken Palm page where one column is just like bright fucking green, uh, and that's the LSU defense. It, it's hard to to see a war. Mississippi's going to struggle to score, and so basically, do you think LSU can run it up? I I don't I don't know if I'm running running to the window, but I you know if you had asked me to make this number, I would have made it 17. So I I think for that reason, I got to take LSU. Um, but it is a lot of points. I mean, it's not like LSU's offense is is looked great a hundred percent of the time. So, really relying on the defense just to squeeze hard. Colby, are you with me? No. You hate Will Wade though. Emotional fade. Be careful. <laughs> no. I gotta know. Can <laughs> LSU cover this fourteen point spread? No. Uh, look, Ole Miss is decent. I mean, they're not a terrible team. They're not great, but fourteen's a, a big number. Look at LSU's. I mean, LSU just lost to TCU and, and kind of got their ass whooped. Um, so I, I, I think the play for sure is to take Ole Miss here. LSU may may be able to. I think they're definitely going to win the game, but I just fourteen is too big of a number. G- give me the Rebels on the road. Pete, 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 Pete Pistol Pete Center, isn't that what that's called? Uh, in 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 d- down there in Baton Rouge. You know they made the they made the NBA logo look like him, Colby. I thought that was Jerry, known, I thought that was Jerry little West. Little known fact. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna lock it in at Ole Miss plus fourteen. Colby made a decent amount of points there. Cowards. Even though we're going to Baton Rouge, I, I fourteen <laughs> feels like a lot. Oh, this should be good. The Iron Bowl, Alabama, Auburn in Auburn, Alabama, Auburn laying six and a half. Who Alabama being cold ATS got a victory uh, last time we talked. Two and eleven against the spread though overall in their last thirteen. Auburn been dominant overall, straight up ATS nine and one ATS their last ten games, eight and one Auburn has been uh, in their last nine games when playing as a favorite. God, I love Auburn here in this spot, but uh, six and a half feels like a lot. And now this Alabama team, it, it's weird how the expectations have gone where they were super high. Now it's like, oh, Alabama sucks. They're not going to do anything, and now they're almost under the radar compared to this Auburn team. I'm going to go Alabama here plus six and a half. It, it's a rivalry game. I feel like they'll get up for this game. And it's, you know, Alabama is a quality team. They have, they're a high variance team, but I think on a rivalry, in a rivalry matchup, they're, I think they'll be dialed in. Sean, how do you think the state, the uh, administrators, the politicians, uh, the support staff, everyone who was involved in getting you a $50 million contract? For life, 
from the University of Auburn by covering the goddamn spread against Alabama and the <laughs> fucking Iron Bowl on the hardwood. This is a no brainer. They just extended Bruce, Bruce Pearl. So, two things we know. One, a great con man knows how to kick back mm. a little to make sure he can keep doing what he's doing. Two, once they achieve their con, they are immediately moved on to the next thing, which is winning a national championship. So, this is a no brainer. I'm all day playing Auburn. Auburn by a million, playing the hot lines up to like 20. Let's go. Oh, uh, compelling I, case. I mean, look, this, this, they gave him a contract for life. This environment starts at five and a half million a year, escalates by 250 minimum a year. This, in, this ah. environment's bananas. Did you watch? The, I mean, the, this is a really hard place to go on the road and win. I I, th- I think I'm with you. I'll go with Saul Goodman, aka uh, Bruce Pearl, to get this <laughs> to get this win here. Uh, lay the six and a half. Pearl gets it done. I mean, well, the fact that you and, you and Colby are both on Auburn makes me like uh, my Alabama play even more. Roll Tide. Look, uh, what does Alabama need to do to beat good teams? Hit the three point ball, right? Oh, what yeah. does Auburn defend well? The three, three point, point ball. Line. Yeah, that's. Scheme schematically, it's a tough matchup. Would have made the line eight and a half, so you can suck on that. <laughs> Providence <laughs> <laughs> heads the Queens, New York. St. John's laying two. Oh, why are we picking St. John's again? Against the Friars. Talk about lines that smell. <laughs> yeah, St. John's has been putting up seventy nine points per game, even though they only shoot sixty five percent from the free throw line. Providence only 69 uh, points per game. St. John's lets up a decent amount of points, but uh, Providence seven and three straight up last 10 against St. John's. Actually I'll stamp this game as my official wrong team favorite game, really? game of the week. You're all, you're all over Providence here, right? Yeah, I, St. John shouldn't be laying points against a good team. Something's up though. It smells. <laughs> It's I agree. Uh, Providence coming off that gigantic win against Marquette. Sure. Great. Yep. Let down spot. Give me St. John's. I'm on the Johnnies two. too. Something's not right with this line. Give me the Johnnies. Give me the Johnnies. All right. Good luck with those free throws at the end of the game when you need St. John's to hit a couple. <laughs> ah, come on. It's not. It's not like uh, Lehigh. Really sucks. Uh, they're 326th in the nation. All free right. They need, they need some work. Still got a couple games left and our lock dog and tease before we get to that. I want to make sure we shout out propswap.com where America goes to buy and sell real sports bets. Perfect time to be heading over to propswap.com. Or if you if you have some of those Bengals futures, you're looking to unload them. Uh, you gotta go to propswap.com. What about our boy uh, Will from Arizona? Sunday night, he sold his uh, $50, hundred to one 49 ers super bowl ticket. He got $500. He turned his $50 bet into $500 would have been zero. The 49ers lost outright. Again, that's the great thing about prop swap. You don't need your bet to win, win to make money. What better, uh, what better way to get paid than just buying and selling tickets over at propswap.com. Use our promo code SGP, get a instant deposit match up to $500. That's right. Propswap.com, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by Better Fantasy. That's right. Fantasy football season may be over, but there's plenty of prop bets to get down on over at Better Fantasy. Earn those better credits. It's available worldwide in all 50 states. Just go to betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. That's B E T T O R fantasy.com slash SGPN. Free to play games where you earn better credits that you can exchange for gift cards. Good times over at betterfantasy.com slash SGP. And all right, yeah, five point four million dollars a year escalates by a quarter million dollars every year, minimum. I guess there's like obvious like escalators around winning stuff, and then it will max out at seven point one five million dollars a year during the twenty twenty nine twenty thirty season. But mm. the intent is to keep Bruce Pearl around for life. Mm. That's insane. Uh, oh, that's a con man doing his fucking job. <laughs> Texas heads of Texas Tech, Lubbock, Texas, where Texas Tech, the Red Raiders, laying four and a half 
Uh, Texas, t- Texas, are they aware of their crushing defeat? <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone told them how much money they cost everyone? Uh, Texas one and four against the spread in the last five. Of course, we're well aware of that. Uh, Texas Tech eight and one against the spread in the last nine games. Five and zero oh against the spread last five at home. Five and one straight up when playing Texas. Texas Tech has uh, whew, Shannon Jr., Agbo, Calhoun, and Allen all listed as questionable right now with COVID concerns. I'm taking Texas on that alone because you know some of those guys. If there's that many guys questionable with COVID, I wouldn't be surprised. A couple more pop up before game time. So, give me the nice number here, four and a half for the Longhorns, Colby. Uh, this game has, it, I mean, obviously uh, Chris Beard was with Texas tech last year. He recruited some of those players uh, that alone. It, it makes this game compelling. How about this though? They're both top 10 defensively and they had, they chart at exactly the same offensively. They're tied for 75th in the country. Um, I'm, I'm going to go though with the red Raiders because there's something about this team. I was telling, I was telling uh, real money Kramer last week. Mm-hmm. I think they could. I think that that uh, they could really win the national championship this year. I'm not. I'm not going to say they will, but I'm saying like I am really impressed by the amount of different scores, the way they play defense, and and they're just deep. balanced approach. That's so, why I locked them up. Which teams last home? Week, Texas Tech. Yeah, uh, and, and I think once again, I, I think the home team will matter because I think there's going to be a little bit of turning the ball over, and I think being at home is going to help. And I, like Colby said, I think Texas Tech is a team we got to write down in pen that we're going to be, you know, putting a couple shekels on in the first round of the conference conference tournaments for sure. But March Madness, love this team. But again, it's going to be about the turnovers. Texas Tech will turn Texas over. It's all about if they can protect the ball. And the place is going to be. It's going to be lit. You, you know, they're, which, by the they're way, going to so, be chanting for beer. They we, hate the fact he went to Texas. I know. It's 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 a it's a program revenge spot, and I think in those spots. You got to take the program over the coach. The returning to your school is tough. Yeah, uh, even if there's no bad blood, it, it's tough to to pull that off. So, you guys are on the wrong wrong side of a lot of these games. I, I mean, I'm the expert around here, so mm. I'm on the right side. Let's just assume that. Closing it out, some Pac-12 action. Cal Stanford. No rivalry. This game. Stanford laying five and a half in Palo Alto, California. Cal's lost seven straight games. Uh, Cal sucks. Oh, and ten straight up on the on the road. Sure, is there a get right uh, or or a get up spot here for Cal? Yes, there is, but I don't see it. Give me Stanford minus five and a half. Colby. Well, first off, this is a fun rivalry because yeah. I I personally think this is the greatest ending to a football game ever. If you go back to night, what was 1982, 1983, oh. where the band member just oh. gets destroyed in the end zone. <laughs> Nothing is, is, is more great. symbolic with football to dorks. All right. That's what should happen. And, 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 trying and, to run and, out and celebrate. Gets oh, d- demolished. So great. He goes out of his way. He's already scored the touchdown. <laughs> he goes out of his way to just destroy the band member. <laughs> Call me um, some dorks. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Cal Stanford. Uh, yeah, it's, it's this is fun, but I actually think Mark Fox has Cal play. Well, before that trip to LA, I thought he had him playing much better. I'm going to take the Golden Bears and the points. I think Stanford gets the win, but this is going to be one where I feel like it's going to be tied up with like a minute left. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to lay that many points with Stanford. Again, this is why I, I don't have much to say. A uh, bunch of hippies. <laughs> <laughs> not not caring about this game up there in Northern California, but yeah, too many points to lay. Th- this would have been two and a half for me. So I'm just rewatching the uh, the cow guy dunk on the Stanford <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, it was the in best. The end zone. It's pretty Rick, great. Me and Patty C talk about it all that time. Like, if I had one image, if I had to go to another planet to explain football. <laughs> right, and I'd be like, "This is what you need to know." All right, <laughs> show up Chuck Bednar. Oh, and, and that's, that's up there. Life. That is very up there. A whole league of yeah. of sport erupts on this other planet where there's band members on the field that just get blasted. Like, See this guy? They're he's sa- he's the jackass. It's like right? gladiators. They're the sacrifices. Like the the prisoners that have to wear band costumes and they get destroyed. That ending is just too good, man. All right, you want me to uh, show you what the lock and the dog and the tease are? Lock, dog, and Bonus lock brought to you by Win Bet. Bet big, win bigger. Winbet.com. Kramer, do it. Lifetime contract equals lock. Auburn minus six and a half. Dog. Whew. I mean, I. Dog. I well, I'm going to stand on my wrong team favorite. Give me Providence. 
Uh, plus the I'm taking a small dog today. Chihuahua. A little Chihuahua. I thought about taking the Jersey School, but we I like almost need a. Uh, you know, we have like two awesome dog. masculine like alpha dogs. We need like a little like. <laughs> For like tiny I'll, dogs, I'll record my dog barking. It's, it'll be perfect. <laughs> yeah, she's perfect. Uh, and then my bonus lock. Oh, you know what? Let, let's uh, let, let's get Buzz, an uh, old friend of Virginia Tech. Buzz has his motivational fucking spe- speeches, and I think for this uh, game against Tennessee, give me A and M to get up plus twelve and a half. Oh God, yeah, I like that too. Um, uh yeah, I'll do. Uh, yeah, I like Texas. I'm gonna steal your lock, Kramer. Give me Texas A&M. No, as the as the regular lock. Uh-oh. Oh wait, no. You know, you know what? Your your regular locks are better than your bonus locks. I'm gonna stay away from that completely. Uh, let's not. Uh, 55 percent is close to 70 percent. It's not horrible. <laughs> All right, A&M mm-hmm. plus 12 and a half. Lock that up. I like Louisville on the money line. Following Kramer's uh, edict here, ACC gonna take the dog. Kate take them to win. As well, and for the last leg, uh, I like Maryland plus three and a half. That feels a hair cute. Davidson plus three feels pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Keep going with these big dogs. Give me Old Miss plus. What do we got this at? Uh, Fourteen against LSU. Ooh. Colby, what do you got? Uh, let's lock up. Uh, I'm gonna go a And M plus the twelve and a half too. I think that line is just way oh, off. Wow. Um, dog danger. Dog. We're gonna go with the rivalry game here. Give me the hippies from Berkeley uh, well, to you, drop you, some acid and pull an upset. Give me the Cal you, Golden you Bears. Have, you don't have to pick that game. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus lock. It's the Kansas Jayhawks uh, minus three in Ames. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's just, ride. You want to. You want to be dangerous. Let's this, ride, buddy. You woke up feeling dangerous. <laughs> woke up feeling dangerous. All right. Thank you guys as always for checking out the podcast. Those of you on the YouTube channel, appreciate you hopping in here live. Subscribe youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast. Leave us a nice uh, rating review. Send in the screenshot of that review for your chance to win free gear every Monday, aka Merch Monday. Make sure to check out the college basketball experience hosted by Colby. Don't, don't be the band guy. Be the football player. There you go. Don't get run over in the end zone with your tuba. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Uh, just for the record, I do like music. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>